Hey Jace, man, I've lined up a great show for us today. The segments and you know everything looks. Well, I never. On guard. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to you from deep within the planet Earth, it's Jason and Friends. Join Jason as he welcomes his good friend, Tim Aberly. And now with his faithful compadre, Kelsey, here he is, Jason Eric Mumbo. Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to Jason and Friends. We're so glad you're with us once again. I'm joined by my good friend, Kelsey Zubrin. Kelsey, how are you doing? Doing great. Spring. Spring is here, and we're having a great show here today. And the good thing about this show is we get to make new friends. That's right. And we have a new friend on here today, a little joining us a little bit later on, is Tim Aberly. He's with the Men on Films. He has a website that goes over a lot of old movies and sure. very fun. So we're going to have him on, talk about uh, some movies from the 80s. That's great. Yeah. Do you have any of your favorite movies? Favorite from the movies from the I don't know. I can't remember what's in what. Who, was Hoosiers in the 80s? There you go. That there was go. a good one. That's, that's one. a good one. Now, you did say spring, and yep. it is. Uh, Notre Dame just had their spring game. Right. Uh, right. The Blue Gold game Blue last. I, I'm hoping Notre Dame won. You oh. know, at least they can start off the season on a on a strong one and zero or Ex one and one actually probably. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, what do they do every time when they um, have the spring game? They release the new shirt. Right. Yeah. Looking forward to that. And did you see the shirt for this year? Yeah, for 2011. I did. Great. I think we have a shot of it here. We got uh, Coach Brian Kelly there, looking yeah. good. And on the back there, they got cheer, cheer for Old Notre Dame. Four Horsemen on the front. Great Sharp tradition. Shirt. Well, they've been doing this for like 20 some years yeah, or so. Yeah, seems like that. You know, so I've been inspired with our new web show, Jason and Friends. We thought we would do something like the shirt, staying with the clothing theme. Right. Uh, so this is our first annual, the briefs, as you can nice. see here. And nice. on the front there, got the logo and the date and everything. And on the back, shake down the thunder. Great. Yeah. This is that's priceless. Yeah. And we'll have Kelsey model them on future shows, so sure. you can pick up your own. I think we're going to sell them for like you know fifteen bucks or something sure. like that. Yep. So guys will wear them for years. <laughs> exactly. Now, Kelsey, I know I have a family with the boys and, yep. and my wife and everything. Same for me. And. You know, we always try to take our own family portrait, and it's always chaos. Anything with kids is crazy. Yeah, get them all smiling at the same time, yeah. Well, sometimes we get some goofy ones where the kids are making weird faces. I came across some family photos, some family albums of people that shouldn't be doing <laughs> family albums, and I think we have a couple pictures of them here. Here's, look at this happy couple here. Yeah. She just looks scared to be with him, doesn't she? Yeah, she's not sure who he is anymore. Is that Wilford Brimley? That is. And then here's this girl. I mean, I had a dog. We had cats. Yeah. The skunk? Yeah, had a neighbor with a skunk pet. I wouldn't suggest it, but they had it. This uh, one kind of baffles me here. There's the guy. I don't know if he's, like, holding her for ransom or something. And did they just catch that themselves, or did the photographer bring that as a prop? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're just trying to work too many things into this yeah. one. He's a hunter, and... He knocked her up or something, I don't know. This is a more of a, you know, around Christmas time, they didn't have anybody to play the baby Jesus. Couldn't use a doll. No, and that dog looks as scared as he probably should be. Well, yeah, he's gonna die on the cross soon. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him, he's thinking about it. Okay, and uh, everybody hold on to something for this one. Woo! Wow, look at this guy here. Is that Ted Danson, by the way? <laughs> I don't is. know. Look at that, the chest hair, he's got the leopard skin on, he's checking the time, and the funny thing about this is he had to go somewhere to do this. That's, this is like an yeah, Owen Mills Professional deal. background. Yeah, and so, and staying in that theme here, Woo! look at them. And uh, I'm just glad they had the cats there. And then uh, here's the three girls. They look lovely. They got their, uh, those chickens or roosters or... Uh, 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 yeah. Prom dates, maybe? Are those the dates? I, yeah. They didn't get asked. Woo! Grandma and Grandpa. Oh, you know, I guess congratulations. <laughs> And are in order there. And you chose to left your, leave your kid with them, even though that's how they greeted you at the door. Yeah. Looking at her now, is that Sharon Stone? <laughs> you know, a current picture of her. Now this one I find beautiful and touching all together. You know, this is just, this is just family at its best. Nice, soft babies, and then covering up things. <laughs> and 
That just is really yes, good. Yes, touching. I just, I'm just ready for like that, that tree to turn into a rocket and they take off. <laughs> yeah. That would be awesome. Everybody get out, pull your pants up. <laughs> take a picture and put straw in your mouth. Children of the corn. Yeah, look Ooh. at that guy. That's like that, a- That's a guy? I, I hope so. It's like a cross between a uh, professional wrestler, the guy from Warrant, and... Uh, it's the poison makeup days is yeah. what it is. I like his chain, though. That's a, guy. Yeah. That's a nice touch there. And then uh, here it is, another touching uh, scene, uh, expecting, and I think she, it might not be his, so she's going to jump. Yeah. Finally, Mr. Jazz Hands, look nice. at him. And I just really think, you know, the guy, the other guy just put sunglasses and clothes back on. Yeah. And, uh, it's a younger photo. So there you go. Those are our look at some family portraits of things you should not do. So Kelsey, I don't want to see any of this from you. Won't be me. It's more likely to be someone else. Right. <laughs> well, anyway, you know, I do like to watch a lot of television. Yeah, that's true. And I do see a lot of commercials. And you've seen the Dos Equis, the man, the most interesting man in the world. Yeah, he's great. Yeah. Well, I look I, up to him. I think I, I figured out who exactly he is. He's oh. not fooling anybody. I've seen him elsewhere. Oh, yeah? Now, have you seen this combined commercial? I haven't. You know, he's trying to do two things at once now. Take a look at this. The police often question him just because they find him interesting. I mean, I can't guarantee how other people run their businesses. His beard alone has experienced more than a lesser man's entire body. Well, I've been saying I guarantee it for years. His blood smells like cologne. He is the most interesting man in the world. You're gonna like the way you look. I guarantee it. Stay thirsty, my friends. See, I told you I'd seen him somewhere before. Yeah. Who knew it was the same guy, but it all makes sense he now. He dresses well. Yeah. yeah. Well, the one thing that is on everybody's mind right now is the royal wedding. Yep. And uh, everybody's looking forward to that. we got Kate Middleton going to be marrying Prince William, and the whole world is a buzz. And luckily, our budget's been bumped up here on the show, and so Sweet. we're going I'll live via satellite all the way over to England to our reporter, Lionel... Uh, Higginbottom the third. Lionel, are you there? Mm. Oh, my, my. Uh, hello, Jason. You've interrupted tea time. Uh, six hours difference, you know. Sorry. <laughs> well, it's great to see you. You're looking great there. I'm, I'm glad you took the time. The, yeah, you did say the time difference. So thanks for, for getting us up to speed here on the royal wedding. Oh, my yes, my yes. And now, Apparently, this has become very popular, the searches for the royal wedding online. What can you tell us about well, that? Well, you know, uh, it's so popular, not just here in, in merry old England, but it's also popular across the world. And the internet has connected the world, as I'm sure you've heard. Wink. Now, you have to understand that every 10 seconds, the internet searches, you find someone searching for something in the royal wedding. This is a fact now. Every, a study has proven this. So, every 10 seconds, someone's looking for something in the royal wedding. Now, that's because it's so popular. It's a fairy tale. People are so excited about it. But, unfortunately, it's a little misleading. About 90% of those searches are grown men in their 40s in their basement searching for nude pictures of, of Kate Middleton. Those blokes, they're, they're tallybackers. That's all they think about, you know. Now let's let's get serious about the wedding. I, I really want to know about the ceremony. Uh, that's what everybody's talking about, and I hear that because of the economy, it's it's going to be more subdued this year. Is that right? Oh my yes, yes, Kelsey, that's exactly right. You know, the royals these days are much more conscientious about what the commoners are going through. It's a rough economy out there, you know. So and it hasn't always been that way. Now. They were going to ride in on a gilded carriage, but not anymore because of the economy and how things are, you see. Now, a uh, hundred years ago, they would never have thought about doing something, toning things down. It was all about pomp and circumstance back then, you see. The, I mean, the royals wouldn't be known to uh, grab a beggar off the street and saddle him up and ride him to various ceremonies. They, they enjoy that type of thing. Yes, yeah, no, sorry. But, but they won't be doing that now. Now, Kate, I believe, will be riding in on her grandmama's borrowed jazzy school. I think they're going to put some ribbons or something on, dress it up a little bit, but still in much more subdued. <laughs> right, now, now, sometimes they've actually trained a dove to fly down and drop the ring into the prince's hand during the ceremony. Now, they won't be doing this now because they're toning things down. So I believe they've just plucked a feral cat off the street. They'll pat him on its bum and put that ring in its mouth and hopefully he makes it down the aisle before dying of... Eli and AIDS or something like that. 
Well, that's too bad. You know, I was really looking forward. That sounds great with the doves swooping down and everything. It would be marvelous, wouldn't it? Yeah, no, I would. But, you know, the cat thing, too, that'd be good. Now, now with the, the subdued tone of the wedding, are they going to do away with any of the, the traditions oh, of no. the royals? Oh, my, no, Jason. There will still be plenty of traditions for everywhere. Of course, naturally, Kate will be wearing the royal knickers, uh, naturally. Royal knickers? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. You Yanks call them... Undies or something along those lines, uh, underpants or something along those lines. We call them knickers, you see. But the royal knickers, it's a, tr it's a tradition that has lasted for generations since the 1700s. And what this is, is all of the brides wear the same underpants on the wedding day during the ceremony. So then they've never been washed because that's a tradition, you know. So they are a bit smelly, you understand. Uh, now, Queen Anne back in the 1700s did have a bit of a bladder control problem. So. A bit of an aroma, if you understand what I'm talking about. But Kate's a real trooper. All right, I think that's a great point for us to wrap it up here. Well, Thank Jason, you have to let me tell you about some of the other traditions, like Winston Churchill's girdle will be used, and of course, Queen Elizabeth's control top pantyhose. The traditions was fantastic. Okay, Lionel, thank you very much for your update. I'm sure you have more important things. Back to the tea, then. Yes, exactly. <laughs> thank you very much. And that was great to get an update on the royal wedding there with uh, yeah. Lionel. Maybe we can hear from him sometime in the future. Great guy. Maybe we can do Kate a favor and uh, send over some of the night shift, uh, you know, underpants. Oh yeah, instead. the briefs. Yeah, exactly. You know, get her. You know, get Something rid of those and nasty fresh. knickers yeah. up there. All right. Well, Kelsey, do you slap your kids around ever? Uh, nope. Uh, I came across. It's time now for the web clip of the week, and here is a father and son just kind of working her out in their own way. Done recording. Well, welcome back to Jason and Friends, and one great thing about doing the show is that I get to meet so many great people, and my guest today, Tim Aberly, is here Hi. with me, and he is a great new friend of mine. Thanks yes. for being my friend. Hey, glad to do it. And you and your friend, Alex Cook, have this website called Men on Film. Yes. Where you are, are you web critic or movie critics? Uh, we call ourselves movie critics, but we have no qualifications other than too much spare time right. uh, to sit and watch tons of movies, <laughs> good and bad. Uh, we tend to put the ones online that maybe you haven't seen or you've forgotten about, but uh, so we don't do a lot of new reviews right. unless it's way weird or something like that. But we have a forum where we just let people request stuff. So if you right. go on and you request something, we watch it. But we say, be careful what you request because we will tear you to pieces <laughs> if it's really horrible. Well, I wanted to have you on because I love 80s movies. And I know a lot of people out there do. And I even think kids nowadays, they're getting into a lot of seeing the old Ferris Bueller and all those. I have to say, my favorite uh, 80s movie is Back to the Future. What, what, what say you about Back to the uh, Future? There's nothing bad to say about Back to the Future except for maybe uh -oh. parts of three. Oh no! See, I, but, I, I don't. I didn't even count two and three. Oh, see, okay. no, it's the first one. The first. First one's like a perfect is, movie. Yes, it, I mean, it has everything. And uh, I mean, Michael J. Fox would not be, well, I mean, where he is, right? Or you know, when he was really healthy and famous, but right. he would not be who he was. I don't think without. Back oh, to the no. Future. He would not have been Team Wolf. Now, some of the other the '80s movies that I want to get your impression on. Uh, a lot of people really love Ghostbusters. Mm. You think it's uh, really a nine out of ten, ten out of ten? Ten out of ten. Yeah. It's, I mean, Bill Murray, uh, Harold Ramis, Dan Aykroyd when he was skinny. <laughs> <laughs> Elwood. El yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, you had um, why can't I think of his name? Ernie Hudson. Ernie Hudson. Who I had yes. the opportunity to meet. Awesome really? guy. Name really dropper. friendly guy. You didn't yeah. meet him. Oh yeah, I met him. No, you uh, did. I went Where to did you meet him? Comic Con in Chicago. Really? Yeah, I'm a nerd. Nice guy. To, very nice. Very friendly. 
Uh, he wasn't upset that I didn't want to pay for his autograph. <laughs> but really? <laughs> he was sitting there going, how much did he want for his autograph? They line all these guys up. Uh, they have them all. It's usually like 20 bucks. And really? you get like, a, like I could have gotten a hand that rocks the cradle signed <laughs> special, uh, you know, picture. And I just, I didn't want to part with that money. Maybe right. Bruce Campbell, but. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so what is your favorite? 80s movie. Oh. I, I've talked Back to the Future, Ghostbusters, anything that just stands out to you? It's really tough. I was looking, uh, I knew we were going to talk about it, so I looked and was looking at over the over all the great 80s movies, and 1984 really stands out. Yeah. Uh, not the movie, but uh, <laughs> the year. Uh, you had Revenge of the Nerds, you had Nightmare on Elm Street, you have Spinal Tap, which is one of my personal favorite movies, uh, Gremlins, uh, shoot, there's so many, right. uh, but just that year as a whole, but there's there's something about the 80s and the movies, the yeah. way there was like excess and there was fun and there was camp and it launched so many great franchises. I mean, the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise, uh, Friday the 13th franchise, Indiana Jones, oh, Raiders yeah. of the Lost Ark. Um, well, even all of just the John Hughes movies. John Hughes. I mean, that's all you have to say is John Hughes for the yeah. 80s. Uh, and you've got 16 Candles and Pretty in Pink and uh, Breakfast Club. Breakfast I mean, there's Club, just, yeah. I remember seeing Breakfast Club at the drive-in. Oh, wow. Like, yeah, it was uh, really cool. Uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Ferris Bueller. Yes. I I, that, that, to me, between Back to the Future and Ferris Bueller's Day Off. That's another movie you just can't touch. Right. Uh, I, I don't think Matthew Broderick will ever be as good. You're right. Uh, and he doesn't like to talk about that movie too much, does I know. he? No. Well, I mean, he, he hasn't... He's still Ferris. He's to still everybody. Ferris, and he still looks like Ferris. Like yeah. I watched Election, good movie. Uh, still, it's Ferris the whole time. That's right. all. <laughs> this one here, uh, I think I get a lot of grief about this because I love Tom Hanks. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, he had a lot of great movies in the '80s. But mm -hmm. Joe versus the Volcano is the most overlooked, underrated Tom Hanks movie ever. I believe it is actually the best Tom Hanks movie ever. Forget Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> forget Forrest Gump. It's Joe versus Volcano for my buck. Uh, I'm a a big fan of Big. Mm -hmm. uh, Joe vs. Volcano is awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, 1990, sorry. Right. But uh, it's one of the first oh, movies right. yeah. that I ever saw that I realized uh, and caught symbolism mm -hmm. and sort of uh, uh, using yep. different camera lighting and things like that to, to convey mood. Right. And uh, I mean, on top of just being really funny. I mean, all of that stuff put into just a kind of a comedy, a throwaway comedy, right. uh, was pretty neat to me. I like The Burbs a lot, too. Oh, yeah, that was but a great that, one. But just like a whole ensemble yeah. cast. And anything else where we didn't even talk about Star Wars or E.T.? Well, you had the best Star Wars movie, in my opinion, which is Empire Strikes Back. Yes. Uh, E.T., if you can block out the redone version yeah. uh, with the stuff added. Um, I don't know. A lot of people miss out on, like, Flight of the Navigator. Okay. Do you remember that Disney movie? See, I, I missed out on it. See? D Flight of the Navigator. I'm a loser. It's awesome. No, no. You I just, don't have Ernie Hudson's autograph, no. and I didn't see Flight of the Navigator. I don't have his autograph either, but right. you should uh, remedy Flight of the Navigator. You can watch <laughs> It's a family movie. You can watch yes. it with the kids. All right, well, tell me why Alex couldn't be here. He, he said he hates the show and he didn't want to be here. Uh, it's usually something like that, or he hates me. We okay. have a lot of domestic issues, despite living apart. Well, we're calling him out. We're going to get him on this show. He better. So if I have to do it, he's got to do it, that's right? right? Exactly. That's that's the package deal here. Now, tell everybody uh, where they can find your reviews and oh. everything about that. We are on instantviewreview.wordpress.com. We call ourselves Men on Film. Uh, we're actually going to, we're looking into buying the oh, website sure. title so then we don't have to have the long. And plus, people can find you on Facebook as well. Facebook, Men on Film, yes, Public Figure. Go figured. there and like it. All right, Tim, thank you very much hey, for being here. It's a pleasure. Thanks thank for taking you. the time. And if you haven't seen any of those 80 movies, 80s movies, go ahead and check them out. Very great stuff. You're missing out if you don't uh, see one or two of them. And I uh, do want to leave you here with, again, our great advice. And I don't think this is really becoming advice anymore, and, uh, especially when I have to read it off a cue card. If your goal in life is to win the five-degree guarantee, then you're on the right track. So, all right, we'll see you next week. <laughs> Portions of today's program have been made possible by GeneralTomFoolery.com. For all your foolery needs, that's GeneralTomFoolery.com. <laughs>